The allegations are mounting against Harvey Weinstein, one of Hollywood's most powerful executives. This time, the New Yorker magazine reports that 13 women have said they were harassed or assaulted by him between the years 1990 and 2015. Three of them say they were raped. Weinstein's spokeswoman told the publication that any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied. The story also contains audio recorded by a young actress as part of a 2015 New York Police Department sting operation against Weinstein. In it, he can be heard trying to persuade her to come back to his hotel room. Listen to me. Now. I want to go downstairs. I'm not going to do anything. You'll never see me again after this. Okay? That's it. If you don't, if you embarrass me in this hotel, I'm not embarrassing stay. you. First it's just all, that I don't, I don't feel comfortable. Honey, don't have a thing with me. It's not nice. Please, I'm not going to do anything. I swear, my children. Please come in. On everything, I'm a famous I'm, guy. I'm feeling please, very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now. And one minute, and if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my jacket, well, you can go. you touch my breast. No, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. But come on. Are you please. used to that? Yes, come in. Because no, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on. Sit here. In a statement, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said that the recording was horrifying to listen to, but insufficient to prove a crime under New York law. Weinstein was also a prolific fundraiser for the Democratic Party. President Barack Obama's daughter, Malia, recently did an internship with him. In a statement, he said, Michelle and I have been disgusted by the recent reports about Harvey Weinstein. Any man who demeans and degrades women in such a fashion needs to be condemned and held accountable, regardless of wealth or status. Now, some of Hollywood's most famous actresses are speaking up. Angelina Jolie told the New York Times that in the late 1990s, she rejected his unwanted advances while they were together in a hotel room. She said, I had a bad experience with Harvey Weinstein in my youth and as a result chose never to work with him again and warn others when they did. This behavior towards women in any field, any country is unacceptable. Gwyneth Paltrow said that when she was hired in the lead role for Emma, aged 22, Weinstein took her to his hotel room where he placed his hands on her and suggested they go to the bedroom for massages. She said, I was a kid, I was signed up, I was petrified. This way of treating women ends now. Louisette Geis is a former aspiring actress and screenwriter. We went to his office and we had a great conversation about his current film and the film that I was pitching. He seemed genuinely interested and I was excited. After about 30 minutes, he asked to excuse himself and go to the bathroom. He returned in nothing but a robe with the front open and he was buck naked. I do not think that Harvey Weinstein understands or comprehends how much pain and suffering this brings to me and scores of other women. The window to end the soul crushing behavior of sexually harassing women is only now just recently opened. Harvey Weinstein was fired by his own company on Sunday after the New York Times reported that he had arranged multiple financial settlements with women who'd accused him of sexual harassment. He denied many of those accusations, but his alleged behavior has been described as an open secret. If proven true, some of it could also be criminal. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News in New York.